Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of all ages, back again with another box break, pack rip session for you guys. Um, if you saw the previous video, you <laughs> you know the trials and tribulations um, collectors are going through here in central New York. At least from my perspective, um, stopped by Target today uh, on some errands with the wife, and the last video saw me open a um, starter box of NFL... What is it called? NFL 5 um, playing card game. Someone had it buried, assuming they were coming back to get it. Um, so I was hoping it would be something at least worthy of my time. Um, haven't played it yet, but even just the card quality alone leaves me skeptical. So the other thing that we had in Target, and this is what I'm talking about with slim pickings and nothing to get too crazy over, um, Star Wars. Um, even like the old uh, Rise of Skywalker, the, the stuff that didn't sell, I mean, even that's all gone. Um, there was a fresh case out of these. Um, I was only able to acquire one due to funds being somewhat limited at this moment. Um, so I'm, I enjoy the series. I'm a big Star Wars nerd. Um, as anyone knows who follows the channel, um, so I do have a binder or two of just plain old collector's cards, but I also have three full binders of three full sets of the old Star Wars CCG cards from back in the 90s uh, that I absolutely love and love that game. Um, but these, I'm kind of curious to see what's in here. Um, it says it's a medallion card in there. I don't know what that exactly looks like. I saw someone on Twitter earlier today actually post a hit that they got out of uh, a blaster box of these of a uh, signature of one of the characters so it'd be cool to get like a um Dora Karn uh, Dune Karn uh, signature maybe um uh, but other than that it's just just fun to have put in a binder and kind of glance at it from time to time you know you're not not really moving Star Wars products. So let me go ahead and take this off screen. Take the cellophane off for you. Open a box and start ripping some packs and see if there's any cool concept art or um, I don't know, maybe just some cool stills. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I don't know if you can see that. It has the Mandalorian insert there. So that's kind of cool on the box. Um, I don't know if there's any cool inserts or uh, nope, so the medallion card comes by itself. That's pretty hefty too, I kind of like that. And then the pack's there. Uh, so, oh, Mark Mosley's cards just went down. Go ahead and put those back up. Oh, there's the other one. Alright. So, we'll go ahead and do the base packs first, and then we'll save the medallion for last you know, maybe just be some cool still images and stuff you know, some cool concept art uh, we'll just see what it entails all right so see that cure in the kid I like the bordering the white bordering it's very nice uh, high gloss foil on the Star Wars logo Definitely like that. Nice little blurb on the bar on the back. Rides with the that's what they call blurg. The thing that he's riding. So this was like the second to last or last episode of season one. Alright, Pelly's new job. She's sitting there with the kid. So I kinda <laughs> To be honest, I'm already really enjoying this. Oh, look at that cute, very cute. The Mandalorian Secret Passenger. Totally enjoying this over enjoying uh, the NFL Live, or five, NFL Five opening. Change of Heart. So we got Mando crushing the droid arm there. Um, nice little blue variant, I guess if that's what that is. Blue parallel. Uh, I like that. And then a creature card. So 
We got the Blorg. So that's nice. I like that. Aliens and creatures. So these, this is what I'm interested in, like the, the inserts and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So there's ten of them. So we got one of ten. That's pretty cool. So I mean, just, just from that first pack, I'd be interested in buying more and uh, you know completing, trying to complete the set. Found. Uh, this is when her, him and uh, the Mandalore and uh, the Mandalorian, sorry, um, and Dora. I always want to call her Dora Cot or something. I forget her name. Her. <laughs> um, we were at the village, hoping against the uh, raiders or pirates. Let me look in the back here. I'll pronounce her name. Cara Dune. Thank you. All right. Against yeah, raiders and A ATST. So, crude and coal. A couple of scout troopers. All right, so we got the base and the parallel in the same pack. And then, characters, armor. All right, nice. Wish there was a little bit more to it. Um, a little bit more exotic, but it looks okay. The armor plays a vital role in keeping the culture of the Mandalorian alive. She, she forges best armor in ancient tradition of her people. And that's a small series 10 card set. I almost wish I didn't buy the NFL 5 and just bought two boxes of this now. Alright, but <laughs> duplication again. Like, and you can't even do anything with this. Nobody, I'm not going to put it on Twitter. Nobody's going to want that. Delivering the asset. Meet Toro Calican. Villagers fight back. It looks like we got a purple variant now. Granted, a signet. I don't know. I was, I'm going to look on the back. <laughs> I mean, Tops does all these short prints, you know, numbered. I was wondering if uh, they would even worry about doing a short print. On a Star Wars series. So this is the ATST concept art. So this is what I'm talking about. Like I like getting these, these little inserts. Chapter four. And that looks like a set of eight. So a lot of uh, a lot of different insert sets. All right, so we got a car doing in the back. That's nice. So handing over the egg to the Jawas. IG-11, that guy was awesome. Uh, when they stormed the, uh, the outpost, that was a good episode. Setting the trap with car doing. Reunited and away. So we got a base already, and now it's the same thing happened again, found. So now we have the blue variant and the base variant. Uh, no, sorry, just the base. Um, there is no base variant. Um, but yeah, now we got a Cardoon. Yeah, I just wish they did something more with the outsides there. You know, did a little bit more foiling or something. But whatever. Star Wars brand and tops just throwing the name on it and trying to make a buck. Showdown with the Empire. Tusken Raider territory. The Mudhorn Stomp. Secret Bounty. That was awesome at their very end right there. We find the child. End of that episode. So 
So Sinari or Trooper. So again, same box, but we're base and then the blue variant again. It's like the third time it's happened. Tools of the Bounty Hunter Mandalorian helmet. So this would be cool. This would be a set I'd like to have all of them of. So there's maybe five of them. You know, with the helmet, it's going to be the pauldrons, the chest plate, the backpack probably. Um, so it'd be neat to see all the different pieces of the Mandalorian's armor. Zero's assessment. New Republic closes in. The client. The negotiation. Yep, here we go. <laughs> it's killing me, man. <laughs> base and variant. Base and variant. So you're getting like... I know it's not technically the same card, but literally it really is the same card. So you're, I mean, it says you're getting 61 cards, but you're not really, you're not. If you're getting the blue base, the, the variant and the the low end, the, you know, the low end blue variant, and then the base card, it's really the same damn thing. Pinned down by Imperials. Showdown in the streets, Navarro. The adorable observer. That's a cute card. Rescue is the way. The assassin reborn. And Berg. So he was one of the guys he teamed up with when they stormed the um, space station in season one I don't know why I keep defining season one season two I'm just so used to, I've been watching season two I watched both episodes a couple times I know these are just all season one cards successful and reunited safe and sound so I'd like to have one where uh, wow this is child heavy the child's new friends. Looking for work. Uh, no match for the Mandalorian. So I'd like to see a card that actually has um, do back for aliens and creatures. That's kind of a terrible photo of an eye and the part of the head. You don't even know what the... Oh, man. <laughs> that's a total... That's a crap image, man. That is a crap image. Anyway, what I was saying was... Uh, I hope they have at least a card with the child um, using the Force and holding the Mudhorn in place for the Mandalorian. I'd like to see that. Little green button pusher. That was a funny, funny scene. I do like that. Drawing a crowd... Mission begins. There's a cool scene in the very beginning when he goes down to the Covent to see all the other bounty hunters and all the other Mandalorians. Friendly face. The healing. So I guess the purple ones are kind of like the upper tier. Fennec Shan. An assassin and elite mercenary, Fennec Shan, has worked for all of the top syndicates. Clever, capable, and cunning. She is a formidable opponent. Ah, I'm drawing a blank. I don't really remember seeing her. Drawing a blank. I'll have to go back and watch. I don't mind. It's short season. Alright, so we're down to the last base pack here. Where we open a medallion. Um, it's been nothing crazy. Purple variants, I guess, are the high-end cards back in business crushing the hunters Moff Gideon's arrival really interested in learn more about his character 
and why he has the dark saber. Be interested in that. Fate of the Mandalorians. That's when the Covenant got ran through. Alright, so no signatures, no spiciness. Old friends, new job. Yeah, it's when he goes to do that bounty. That pull that job on that space station. And uh pretty cool concept art. Um, all in all, uh, not bad, but not great, I guess you can say. Um, man, the uh, medallion card feels thick. So we'll see what that's about. So congratulations. So, all right, so there is short prints. But they leave it for the, it's a mud horn. It's the mud horn. Oh. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. I kind of like that. So it is a short print. They do do short prints. 11 of 50. Not bad. Yeah, it kind of makes me want to get the other the other boxes now. So see if I can complete the set and see what other uh, medallion goodies you can get. All right. As you can hear my voice, it's still, I mean, it's not baseball cards, it's not football, and it's not basketball. So uh, it is Star Wars. It is one of my favorite things outside of the sports world. So, but uh, not base cards themselves, not terrific. The short print medallion card kind of saves it. Um, definitely wish I would have gotten two boxes and left the football playing card game alone but there it is leaving and learn so hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have a great weekend be kind stay safe and we'll talk to you on the next video have a good night